Hello my people, welcome once again and today it's about uh, bodies moving in the same direction. Uh, the previous lessons we looked at uh, <coughs> bodies that move in opposite directions. I had some few examples I explained, I hope uh, you got the concept. Uh, so today, before I start, just make sure that, like I always say, for me to get more energy to do more of this, just uh, watch, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and uh, I'll be grateful. So, I have some two examples here I need to use for the lesson that I have to do today. So, I hope you listen carefully and it will be of help. So, first of all, uh, my first question that I want to use to explain in this case, normally I don't write the question. I draw a sketch then read a question from the sketch illustrated so first question is i have two bodies here a car and a bus uh, these two bodies are 100 kilometers apart okay they're both moving from point a to point c a to c as you can see there so it happens that the bus is some distance uh, further from point A. So A iko nyuma, alafu, I mean, ka iko nyuma, alafu bus iko some distance ahead. And that distance is uh, 100 kilometers. So, the idea is, uh, what is always ahead of uh, E in should be at a speed which is lower than uh, the one that is behind. And there should be some distance between the two bodies, so that as they keep moving in the same direction, since the one that is behind has a higher speed, will get to a point where it overtakes the one that is uh, the, uh, ahead of it. Okay, so the question is all about, we want to calculate uh, the time it takes before the one that is behind catches up with the one that is in front, and uh, the distance from the starting point to that point maybe, or it can be the distance from where they are going to. So, in this case, my question is, uh, a car moving at 90 kilometers per hour uh, is uh, 100 kilometers behind a bus moving at uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Given that the two bodies are moving to the same direction towards point C, such that the distance A, C, is uh, 500 kilometers. There are questions we need to solve. So first question is, uh, after how long did the car catch up with uh, the bus? Remember the formula that we had before. The formula was always uh, time equals to, after how long obviously it means time. Time is always relative distance over relative speed. So there's only one thing we'll say in this case. When bodies are moving in the same direction, to get relative speed, you subtract their respective speeds. Remember in opposite direction, before we said, when bodies are moving in opposite direction, to get their relative speed, you add their respective speed. But in this case, it is the same direction. So we should you. Same direction, subtract the speed. So when you're reading a question, soma vizuri uelewe. Are they talking of things which are moving in the same direction or opposite direction? That's where the whole trick lies. So the formulas will not change. They talk about just like what we had before. So time equals to relative distance over relative speed. So relative distance is supposed to be always distance between any two bodies before they are all moving. So in this case, by 9 a.m., the distance between these two bodies was 100 kilometers. So that distance in between two bodies just before they all start moving is what we call the relative distance. So we have the relative distance here as 100 and the relative speed is 90 minus 40, which is the same as 50. So then time it takes for these two to meet will be relative distance divided by relative speed. Relative distance, like I've explained, it's 100, and the relative speed is uh, 50 kilometers per hour. So when you divide this, you get two hours. So if the question asked, how long did the car 
take to catch up with the, the bus, then that should be, you just say, what I've done here, and then you get two hours. But if the question asked, at what time did the car catch up with the bus? That's the exact time now. So all these calculations began at uh, 9. Then you'll say 9 plus the time you got here, which is uh, 2 hours. And the exact time is uh, 11 a.m. So that's to do with time. The second question. Second question is, how far from A did the car catch up with the, the bus? How far, obviously, is distance? The two methods I'll explain. The first method is, uh, if you want to calculate distance, you always say distance equals to speed times time. So when they say, how far did the, from A did the car catch up with the bus? Car is here. And this distance from A, we want to get the distance from this point up to the place they caught up. So first is, uh, you will say, if it's distance, distance always equals to speed times time. Take the speed of the car, which is uh, 90, because we are talking about the car. Then the time it took for this car to catch up with the bus was these two hours here. So it is simply 90 times 2, which is the same as 180. That is it. So, but they said, if in case they said, how far? Because I'll be questioning Nakwanga Kidogo Waneza could confuse. In this first case, it was how far from A. So I got 180. Sometimes they will trick you at Akwambia, how far from C did the car catch up with the bus? So they mean the remaining distance here. So if it was so, then you will say, if it's how far from C, it is a total distance, which was 500 minus the distance from A. So how far from C should be 320 kilometers. That is it. The next method. Next method is uh, based on, uh, we say that let the meeting point be a distance of X from where the bus is. So the distance from here to here is X. Then I explained this in opposite direction question some time back. So it's the same idea. The time taken by the car to move from here up to this point and the time taken from the, by the bus to move from this point up to this point is actually the same. Because here it took a 9, it's at 11. Here it took a 9, 11. So time is the same. So what you do, you form an equation in time whereby you'll say Time from here to there and time from here to here are the same. Aya, time from here to here. Time equals to distance of a speed. Distance is 100 plus x over the speed which is 90. Time from here to here is distance which is x over speed which is 40. So you will say time taken by the car which is distance covered over speed equals to time taken by the bus which is distance of a speed. So if you simplify this, you will get 80. 80 represents distance from where the bus was to the meeting point. So distance from A should be 100 plus that 80. And you can see it here. So it's 100 plus 8. Second example. Second example is, uh, now in most cases you find that for more questions in your turn around, is it okay in this form? In the first case, it's rare to find questions of the sort. But here, they will talk of uh, these two points, A and B. It's not necessary that when bodies are moving from same point to the other, lazima upatue distance. When you're given the distance AB, then there should be an additional question which has to do with the total distance. But uh, you solve the question. You can just solve the question without the distance in between. So th my question is... Uh, a bus left point A for B, A for B, at 7 a.m. at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. On the same day, a car left the same point A for B at a speed at 8:30 a.m. Unona times any different at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. So now, uh, the questions will be asked will have to do with at what time did the car, because we may talk a numa, you can see, catch up with the, the bus, we took a later on. So the questions will come. But now, 
there are some few things I want to explain here. Before we do anything, let's understand that if the car, the bus, leaves at 7, by the time the car leaves at 8.30, this bus will be some distance ahead. In so doing, there will be some distance between them. That distance between them, before the car just leaves at 8.30, is what you call the relative distance. So how do you calculate relative distance? Relative distance is the distance covered by the bus before the car just took off. Ah, yeah. The bus left at uh, 7. The car left at uh, 8.30. So what it means is uh, the bus had traveled for one and a half hours just before the car took off. So if you want to get the distance that the bus covered, unasema, distance equals to its speed, which is uh, 60, times the time it took, which is uh, 1 hour 30 minutes. And that distance that it will have covered will be what you're calling the relative distance because it will be the distance between the two bodies just before the car takes off, which is 60 times 1 and a half and it's 90. So what this means is uh, at 8.30, 8.30, when both the bodies are moving, the distance between them will be 90. This 90 is the distance which is covered by the bus just before the car took off. This 90 is what you're calling the relative distance. So from this, you come up with this new sketch. And now this brings you back to the question like, just like the one I explained before. So question A, at what time did the car catch up with the bus? Kama ile question ingine, time equals to relative distance of relative speed, which is 90 divided by 40. What is 90? The relative distance I've explained. Where did I get the 40 from? I said that when bodies are moving in the same direction, relative speed is uh, subtract their respective speed. This is kilometers per hour. Ah, so when you divide this, you'll get 2 hours 15 minutes. The whole calculation began at 8.30, as you can see. So the exact time will be 10.45 a.m. Next question. How far from A did the car catch up with the bus? How far is distance? Distance always is speed times time. Did the car? The car speed is 100. So how far is the distance it covers before it catches up with the bus? So it took weight speed 100 and it took 2 hours 15 minutes. Remember this, this 2 hours 15 minutes for it to catch up with the bus. So when you multiply this, you'll get 225. So with that example, I think it's clear. You've understood. If uh, there is anything you doubt, always rewind. Ukumbuke ku rewind kila saa ukia kufata every part when you explain. So we, let's wait for the next example. <coughs> but for the time being, you have to go through this. Shika the concept so that it will be easier to explain the next one. See you.